YouTube, welcome back to my channel. This is Canadian Retro. I've got another pickups video for you here. This is a nice, interesting little haul I got from one uh, Goodwill today. The rest of them were fairly dead, although I did pick up a couple items at different places. But uh, the one haul was pretty good, so I'll save it to the end. It was actually the first place I stopped, though. Um, I'll go on to the other Goodwill, which still conveniently is only charging two dollars for. Uh, PlayStation type games like ones that are in CD cases and stuff like that. I'm sure if it were Dreamcast or anything like that, they would uh, be charging two dollars as well. And so I found this title there, and I definitely went for it. It's Twisted Metal 3 for the PlayStation One. Uh, pretty awesome find right there, I think. Uh, the disc's not in the world's greatest shape, but it should play. It's kind of a little bit scratched up, but nothing super deep. It looks like just a lot of little minor surface scratches on it. Um, didn't have it in my collection, so pretty cool and black label, so pretty happy with that. Um, not a huge fan necessarily of the series, I know that a lot of people are, just never could really get into it. I never really liked the graphics um, in these kind of things back in the day. Like I remember there's different ones, um, not just Twisted Metal, but there was like, uh, I'm trying to remember what it was, it was sort of like not bumper cars, but like uh, Destruction Derby. I think was the name of that game and I just didn't like the look of the cars, they're just a little too pixelated and boxy uh, even back in the day so I can't imagine this looks very good nowadays but hey I'll try it out and see how it goes so pretty cool find there for two bucks so definitely not going to turn that one down. Alright so the next place that I stopped into was a Talese which um, their games are priced at five dollars each so I didn't really find anything in there today worth picking up but I did find one item which uh, is pretty cool. Uh, not a game, but it's gaming related obviously, and it's a PS1 gun controller. I never actually had one of these or used one back in the day, and this is the first time I've actually ever held one of these. These are a pretty cool uh, feeling definitely in your hand, so just the awesomeness of this, I just thought I would pick it up. Um, I won't be able to use this because I don't have an old style TV, I don't have room for it down here in the retro dungeon. Uh, that's why it's called a dungeon, but I'll unwrap everything here and we'll get a good look at everything. So. It has, um, interestingly enough, an AV cable that attaches to it, which I wasn't aware of, like I said, because I've never had these before. That's what I'm unwrapping right now. Um, so you can see, well, there's a lot of wires. So well, that's good, because obviously you can get far away from, far enough away uh, from what you're trying to get away from, but there it is right there. So pretty cool, but as you can see, uh, attached to that there, there's actually a wire coming out of it that I'm assuming is for some sort of audio, which is kind of weird because I don't know why you would need to uh, have that hooked in for a light gun. Sort of strange. Um, if you know anything about that, you let me know. I think probably uh, Josh from Game Hunters R Us, I know he likes light gun stuff, so this is probably something that he may know a little bit about. Pretty cool though, you got your A and B button um, up at the front here so you can reload like that. It would be kind of cool if it was a one that uh, you could you know, do this with to reload, but still nonetheless, still kind of neat and good clicking action there. Pretty happy with that find for that one there. I paid uh, $5.99, so $6, which I think is a pretty decent deal for it. I don't know what these go for, but like I said, never seen one in a while. It just needs to be cleaned up a little bit, and there's a little bit of wear on the front of it there, but not too bad. So pretty decent find. I'll never get a chance to use it because I don't have the old style TV though, but you never know. So that's going to go into the collection for sure. Uh, the major find of the day though was a series of Genesis titles that I found at a Goodwill. Uh, super happy with the score actually. A lot of titles in here I didn't have in my collection and a couple I was definitely looking for so I'm so happy to uh, get these games and I'll show you what I got. Now the first couple I don't really know why I necessarily picked them up. They were a good price and I think really that's why I went for it. It's just uh, hard to find games nowadays where you're sort of under five dollars so really happy for three bucks to pick up World Championship Soccer 2. Didn't have it in my collection so pretty neat though. This one here actually has a the wrong manual in it. This is Jurassic Park Rampage Edition but so this one's actually incomplete. Um, Interestingly enough, I um, don't have that Jurassic Park game in this lot, so I don't know how that happened or where the other game went. It would've been nice to get that one though too as well, but uh, still pretty cool. It looks like an interesting soccer game, not really 
uh, my forte, but that's that there. And then for some reason, uh, there was another copy of World Championship Soccer 2. And this one here is actually complete. It has its own manual in it, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'll just take one of these copies and I will bundle the other one with something and uh, sell it off. But still, uh, cool nonetheless to uh, find some Genesis titles. And I do need some replacement cases and stuff like that, so that's pretty neat right there for those two, three bucks each. Uh, moving on to the next titles, they're sort of going to increasingly get better. Now this one here, I believe is an awful title from what I understand, but uh, there it is there. I think I already have this in my collection, but I just thought I would pick it up anyways, just for the three bucks. Pretty cool, and a case with a hang tab, so what you going to do? Incomplete though. So yeah, Batman Forever for three bucks. But uh, why not? And then the next one here is Echo the Dolphin, which I did have in my collection, but I didn't have it complete. Now I do, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, the cartridge and everything is in really great shape. This sort of gets like hit or miss kind of reviews for it. Um, some people really hate this game and some really enjoy it. So I remember playing it. I got kind of frustrated with it as a kid because I didn't really know what to do. Um, but I think that now with you know, seeing like videos and stuff online, I could probably play this game and have a lot of fun playing it. And then I also picked up another game which um, I actually got at the Waterloo Swap, but I got a loose cart version of this. And uh, now I have it complete though, it's Sonic Spinball, which is kind of cool to be able to do that. And it's complete, like I said. And the cartridge on this one is in good shape. I don't know if it's as good a shape as the one that I got at the show, but I'll, you know, mix and match and do my best there. And that was three bucks. And uh, now we're starting to get into some of the more interesting stuff here. Uh, the next one here is Batman Returns, which I have this on the Super Nintendo. I can't recall if I actually have this in my collection because uh, I don't have a spreadsheet or anything like that to tell me that. I can't recall if I have this one or not in my collection, but still. That is a cool title, definitely. I don't think I had it before. And it's also complete. Manual is a little bit uh, beat up. You can see the corners are kind of, you know, peeling. I'm not peeling, but uh, like dog ears kind of thing there. And uh, the cartridge, though, is in fairly decent shape. Actually, it's in really great shape. So that's pretty cool right there. And again, $3, as are all these titles. Uh, moving on from that. I also picked up Virtual Bart, which uh, is a interesting game. I don't know a whole lot about it. It looks uh, quite fun, so I'm gonna have to check it out. I have no idea about this game, but it's Bart Simpson and it's on the Genesis, so why not? And there it is, but unfortunately missing its manual, which is kind of a bummer. That's the way it goes. Cartridge is in pretty decent shape overall, so pleased with that. The last item I want to show you here is something I'm really happy to add in my collection. It's another Genesis title, uh, but it's not just the Genesis title on its own. It's Sonic and Knuckles. And the box on this is not in the world's greatest shape, but you know, that is what it is sometimes. And unfortunately, Kyle Sang has written his name uh, right on there. So Kyle, in the future, please just, um, you know, use a sticker or something like that. Be better off uh, getting that off of there because now it's like carved into the cardboard. But uh, there's that part there. It actually came with its manual, so that's pretty cool. And then the cartridge itself is right in there, and the cartridge is actually in really, really decent sh shape. So luckily, it was protected by this um, really, really beat up box. I mean, uh, who was it again? Oh yeah, Kyle has taken it and just like covered this thing in tape to hold it together. I guess it was falling apart. So, you know, good effort on you, Kyle, but uh, maybe if you took better care of it, it wouldn't have fallen apart so easily. And then uh, there's the cartridge, which he did take care of. So thank you for that, Kyle. I appreciate it. And uh, that's where you would put in the other cartridges as well. So if you're not sure about this, I'll just explain it really quickly here. Um, you can take this and put it into your Genesis and you can play Sonic and Knuckles types games on it. That's the first part, but then the cool part is you can also attach like uh, Sonic 2 to it and then you can play as Knuckles in Sonic 2, which is cool. And then in Sonic 3 you can uh, do different things as well, I think. Uh, play as Knuckles in that as well or something to that effect. So 
pretty cool anyways. Uh, something I was looking for for my collection. I see a lot of people with it and uh, always wanted to get one for myself. So there we go for three bucks. A complete and beat up box a copy of Sonic and Knuckles for the Sega Genesis. So the cool part is I managed to get, you know, all of these uh, eight games here for 24 bucks which I thought was a killer deal. I know Sonic and Knuckles alone is probably a $20 game right there, so at least locally it probably is, so that's pretty awesome. I'm really pleased to uh, pick all those things up. Thanks again for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Feel free to thumbs up this video, comment down below, and I'll see you all later.